2020. It was the year of the derecho. The sadness and devastation stage of looking around and um, driving down streets that you've driven down daily and realize that street will never look the same. I can see a house that I've never seen before because there's no more timber. Derechos are long lines of powerful, wind damage producing thunderstorms, traveling at least 250 miles, regularly producing winds stronger than 58 miles per hour, with occasional gusts topping 75 miles per hour. An incredible nine derechos tracked across the U.S. last year, nearly tripling the annual average. It started in late April, when an overnight derecho traveled more than 500 miles from Missouri to the Gulf Coast. It rocked the south with strong winds, large hail, and an EF2 tornado in Oklahoma. A derecho turned deadly in the south on May 3rd after killing a Tennessee firefighter. It traveled more than 750 miles and lasted nearly 13 hours. Derechos came in rapid fire in early June, three separate events within a week. On June 3rd, a huge line of storms roared through Pennsylvania and New Jersey, knocking out power to more than one million customers. Just three days later, a rare derecho ripped through the Rockies. After originating in southern Utah, this intense line of storms blasted through Colorado and Wyoming with winds in excess of 100 miles per hour. On June 10th, it was the Great Lakes' turn. Damage from this derecho spanned more than 400 miles from Michigan to Kentucky. After two derechos hit the plains in July, August featured the costliest thunderstorm-related disaster in U.S. history. A severe derecho ripped across the Midwest on August 10th, centered on Iowa. Winds of up to 140 miles per hour, over 700 miles, $11 billion in damage. Iowa farmers were hit particularly hard, some facing up to 100% crop loss in 2020. The grueling cleanup process continues to this day. The final derecho of 2020 came in early October, when a nasty line of thunderstorms accelerated across New England, leading to more than 120 reports of wind damage. The widespread destruction and incredible frequency of derechos in 2020 is a reminder that winds need to be taken just as seriously as other parts of a thunderstorm. Join us on Weather Nation so you can stay ahead of the storm. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Ben Repper.